Hi, this is Shirak. Welcome again for another lesson, Angular JS part called Fusion. Uh, we're going to use our previous application as 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 a star, start point for for this new lesson. So I'm copying over the index CFM we created previously, and copied over my new project. And also, I have two folders created in my new project. One is the JS folder. I'm going to store the JavaScript file there and the views, which I'm going to store different partial views that we're going to create. Now, uh, the second lesson, what we're going to do here is separate the code from the views. So we're going to build two models. One is for controllers and routers, and the second one will be the service factor, which is going to hold all the services. So let's get it started. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this uh, AngularJS library here. I'm just going to point it to the new location. You can leave it. It's, it still is going to work. I just want to have this new location in here. And um, I'm, I'm going to also remove the CF Ajax proxy and put it at the bottom here to make my code cleaner. And I'm going ahead and creating a JavaScript file. And this uh, file, saving it in my JS folder. Make sure it's in the JS. Naming it main. And inside the JavaScript file, I'm going to define the AngularJS model. So I'm, I'm telling AngularJS this is the model. Just simply say angular.model and you give a name for this model. AngularJS02. And for the resource, right now I'm passing empty array. And this is how you define AngularJS model. So you tell this JavaScript it's a model. I'm taking this AngularJS model name and put it here. I'm telling that this HTML uh, I want to inject that model to this HTML, so it will be used across the document, and make sure that they match the name. All right. Now, um, so I said I want to separate the code, my logic from my view. The first thing you notice in here is uh, that I have the function here within the same HTML page. So I'm taking that out. I'm going to put it here. And um, and referring my source to that main JS main, and one more thing I'm going to change here is the the return that I'm getting from this service now it's uppercase the the prop the properties are uppercase I just changed my service. All right, let me run this quickly to make sure I did not break anything. Here we go, the application is still it's running, which is now much cleaner that my HTML page doesn't have the, the JavaScript code in it. All right, uh, let's do, um, now let's work on the routing. So within the AngularJS model, you can pass a function, and this function can take the route provider and also can take the location provider. Now, route provider, I have a snippet for, for route provider here, just to make it quick, quickly, as quick as, we type it as quick as possible. So route provider has the when key. So I'm telling that the, whenever there is a slash artist, in the URL, go ahead and you r render the template artist dot HTML and use the controller artist controller. And I don't I don't have the controller yet, 
but before I create the controller I want to just create the artist and I'm telling that's going to be in my views so inside the views I'm going to create a new HTML file I can remove this I'm just going to put here a title and save it as an HTML and make sure you put it in the views folder so that's my artist and now inside my main JS I said I need to have a new controller so let's go ahead and create a new controller here and I'm just gonna rename this and remember I just uh, created a binary exp expression here called title uh, so I'm going to define that title in this scope in my controller scope and I'm telling that this is going to be artist list so when the URL has the artist then the artist HTML page will render and the artist control will be, will be called so what I need now I need to take this code from here because this is the main this is the, this is the main controller I'm taking that out I'm telling when the artist page is going to show up go ahead and make a call to the service and fill the artist object and then I need to remove this table from my index.cfm page and put it inside the artist page because that's where it should be. And inside the CFM page, now I need to create a link so I can point to the artist page. The first thing I'm going to do is the home link so I can ret return back. And the second one will be my artist. And to show my view change, I need a placeholder for that view. So I'm going to have a div and uh, AngularJS directive called view and leave it empty. This is kind of placeholder. It's going to change each time I click on um, a link. That link will be rendered inside the ng view. Um, so now to we need to add another provider or another uh, router in here is otherwise which is the otherwise. The otherwise means like anything that is not available or you type in something whatever you type in the URL always redirect me to the home page and that's what it's doing in here. It's redirecting to the home page. And also I'm gonna put the JS Fiddle mode. Uh, HTML, this is the HTML mode so that the, it's gonna configure the HTML5 to get links working on the JS Fiddle. All right, and if everything we type in correctly now this is should work as expected let's run this is home page this is artist here we go the artist is loaded up all right so this is really a good separation right now but you know, I need to do one more separation in here. And, and you notice that I'm, I'm instantiating the service here, my service object in here, and I'm doing a method call here. So imagine if I'm going to use the same service in another method or in another controller. So in this case, I need to instantiate this service again. What if we have a one module that's going to hold all the services that we have and we can inject each service separately in a controller that would be great and that's why I came up with an idea of uh, the model and uh, to create another model that's going to be another JavaScript file and 
I'm gonna name that JavaScript file and make sure you put it in the JS folder. I'm gonna name that service factory. And I need to define it as an Angular JS model. And give a name, so I'm naming it service factory and passing empty resource again. Now, with with uh, with the service factory with the model of for for Angular JS, there's a config, uh, there's a factory. And what factory is is a place that's going to hold the services. So each service you have, you can save it in the factory. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And, uh, oops, sorry. So inside the factory, um, I'm just going to have it a new line here to make it clean. I'm going to have my first service, which I'm naming it uh, Artist Service. And the function, passing the second argument, function. And the, that function will take the, uh, well, actually, that inside that function, I'm going to take this line of code, remove it from here, and put it inside that function and then what I need I need to return that variable which can hold the service go back to my main JS now I have this service factory created um, the next step is I, I need to inject this model inside this model inside the main model so that's where you put it inside the resource and the resource I have to put the name of my model that I want to inject and here I am just injected in here now where do you want to use each each server right now I have only one service in here so I want to inject the artist service inside my control the artist controller so you, put, you pass it as an another argument in here and you will replace this artist object with artist service. It will make more sense if you have more services. Now we have only one service, but this is really a separation of my service layer from my logic or controller layer and my view layer. Uh, let's see now. Um, if everything I've done correctly, yes, so far, and then last thing I want to do, I want to refer my service factory inside my HTML. And that's my service factory here. Okay, so that's there. Check this one. Oh, um, this is has to be my my service factory name not that this I'm not injecting the service in here I should inject the whole model so that's gonna be service factory so it has to be this guy yeah let's run the application and here we go so as you can see, everything is the same. All we did right now is just separation and trying to make this separation as much as possible, especially the abstraction layer with the service and the controller, the logic, and then the view. Um, now to make this, to go one step further, to make more sense, I'm going to have a new service call here, and that's going to be my art service. Um, so let's let's go to the art service. And have a new link here. And that link will be art. art. So you can have a more sense 
about this service factory. So I'm going to copy the service factory. And uh, change now the second service name to be art service. Which is going to return the art object. Call and uh, instantiating the art.js. This is, comes from the uh, uh, Ajax proxy. And return the art object back. So now I have two services in my model, and that model is already injected in here. And I need to create another route provider for my art page. So if, if there is an art in the URL, go to the art HTML and go to art controller. Um, and create a new controller here copying the previous one and, and renaming this art controller and I'm gonna inject this time the art service and change the title to be art list and this one also change it to be an art service and the methods not gonna be get artist is gonna be get art get all art and make sure the scope object is arts and I'm going to copy over the artist HTML page in my view folder so I'm just renaming it to art um, that's the art and the values that's going to come back from the art is going to be the art name and the I'm just going to show show the art name and the description. And the object is now going to be artist it's going to be art in arts and each show each art. Save this. Okay, so let's run the application. This is my artist. This is my art. All right. So as you can see, how easy is uh, to work with Angular JS and Cold Fusion. We have now completely three pages with with with, with uh, navigation mechanism in it, routing mechanism in it, and also a full separation between the controller and the services. I hope you enjoyed this session. Please um, come back again for the future sessions, and thank you for watching.